Get it on, T-Rex, with the great Mark Bolan. How are you? Let's have some big fat Wednesday bollocks. Um, I asked for some questions, of course. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, tune, yeah. Hey. Um, remember, I can't read your name. It's too tiny. With my little eyes. Little eyes? Small words. <laughs> um, Joanne. Yeah, that's, that's good. See, she just, she just typed her name. So I could just go, hi, Diane. Um, sing, Ricky, sing. Is that like win, Rocky, win? Or run, Forrest, run? <laughs> <laughs> um, groovy music. That's exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Groovy music, bit of glam, bit of grit. Um, yes, uh, right, I did ask for some questions. Um, oh no, I don't know who that's from. Hold on, well there's, there's uh, oh it could be, who's missing? Could that be, could that be Gunner? Um, who's a dog? Uh, if emotions are the product of biochemical reactions, then in the future we will be theoretically able to control them. Well, yeah. If we could control emotions through technology, should we? Well, we do really, don't we? If it's your own, and it's up to you, and you don't want to feel a certain way, I mean, we do have things like that, don't we? So, sort of antidepressants and, and and some and some I'm not a doctor but I think some mental illnesses are well everything's physical but you know what I mean some of them are, are, are chemical imbalances aren't they I'm guessing here I don't know I don't but yeah that I mean yeah I mean it's not a, it's not always a bad thing isn't it um it depends doesn't it if you, if you, I don't know why you take them to never feel happy again. That'd be a bit weird. Um, so it depends. There's good and bad. There's good and bad science. Good science. Oh, chemotherapy. Good science. Well done. Bad science. Frankenstein. So it depends, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, that was, that was quite a good question. But the only reason it takes seriously is, is it comes to the point, it's a dog, right? Asking me. And that's, that's, I suddenly realised the absurdity of this. If this was a doctor, you know, and a, <laughs> an environmental biologist and a psychiatrist, and they're going, well, yeah, it's a good point, right? But, and it was a human... <laughs> no, but a dog asking me, it's absurd. Um, talking of which, here's Rupert, the dog. Here we go. <laughs> this is Rupert's question. <laughs> You've woken up in a dark cave. Okay, let's see if that's, let's see if that's relevant. Why he's, why he's setting the story. Let's see if this, this is, was needed. Let's see if we could cut down any of this, this question, okay? You've woken up in a dark cave. As your eyes adjust to the surroundings, you smell incense. Mm, wow. Why, well, why am I in a fucking dark cave? And why have I had a little snooze? It's a question, <laughs> right? Why did I go to a dark cave to have a little snooze, Rupert? You little fat sausage. You've woken up in a dark cave. As your eyes adjust to the surroundings, you smell incense. You follow the smell. I would. I'd assume I was looking for some sort of, it was like a yoga class or a record shop in the late 70s. If I smell incense, it's either a record shop or a cool clothes shop, right? Or um, my next door neighbour's... Uh, Lodger smoking dope, and uh, 
That's what the incense, that's what he's, that's what he's trying to hide. Um, okay, you've woken up in a dark cave. As your eyes adjust to the surroundings, you smell incense. You follow the smell to the corner, <laughs> corner of the cave, right? <laughs> and lo and behold, and lo and behold, there is Jesus sitting cross-legged, right? Right. What three questions do you ask him? Right. That could have been, if Jesus, if, you, if Jesus was real, what would you ask him? But no. Why am I waking up in a fucking cave and smelling your <laughs> <just> sticks? <laughs> right. Okay. Sitting cross-legged. Is that how I know it's Jesus? And not just... Why don't I think it's just some homeless guy sitting in a cave? And he'd and he go, what are you fucking doing in here? It's my cave. I go, sorry, I don't know. I, I had a lot to drink last night and I don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, you came in pissed. I go, did I? He goes, yeah. Then you, you, you urinated on my bag of clothes. I go, oh, sorry, mate. Then you said summer and you, you insulted me and you fell asleep. I go, sorry, mate. It won't happen again. They go, no, I won't happen again because I've got to move because it stinks of piss in it. Um, why do I know? Do I just know it's Jesus, do I? I just know it's Jesus. Do I accept it? Of course I wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't accept it. I would go, if he said, like, if he had ID, oh, Jesus, I'd go, no, you, uh, you're mental. Okay, what three questions would I ask you? Right, why are you in a cave? Um, uh, how did I get here? Uh, what's the what, what's the point? What are you doing? What what are we to learn from this? It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh God! What was the what was it like living in the Bible? What was that like? Um. Right. Ollie comic strip. Having written children's books, starting the game show. With kids and produced a children's film. Would you ever consider creating a TV series for children? Well, we, yeah, maybe. It's not my. I don't know why. There's better people better. I don't know why I do that. It's not my sort of thing, really. Um, but having said that, some of the things I do, um, like even stuff like, I think the invention of lying was rated thirteen, and that was, you know, uh, I like to do something with flannels. I definitely would like to. I think. I think. A, I think an animation, like a weird, like a weird, that SpongeBob vibe, just mental for kids and adults. That's what I'd like to do. Yeah, that, that's what I'd like to do. Um, but I can't be bothered to do anything. This is. The, I like doing this because there's absolutely no fucking work involved. Just me sitting down with a beer that I'd be doing anyway. And I'm saying things out loud as opposed to just thinking them. See, if you wonder this, this is me. This is me usually from six till six thirty, just thinking shit that. And here, I just say it out loud. Um, uh, Nancy says, "Have you ever wished you were born the opposite sex?" If so, why? I haven't. Um, do I still have to answer the why? Like, I assume that was if I have, why? But if I say no, I've got to say why. Uh, why have I not? Uh, I can't think of any reason other than I just, oh, you don't do it. You just don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever thought like that. Um, I like, well, I like using the urinal. It's convenient. We can go anywhere. We can go up against a tree. Can't we? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what, I'm, what I'm saying. Is that's the only advantage of being a man. Um, let's have a look. Uh, also, let's not forget women are the most depressed group 
Yeah, you go anywhere in history. Much better off being a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's true. Um, uh, Tony. Tony, he's a, he's a sensible human. And it, why is he asking questions like dogs do? Right. You're kidnapped. Your kidnappers allow you to keep posting on social media to pretend everything is all right. It's nice of them. No good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, what would you post that would alarm your followers without the kidnappers knowing you've asked for help? Oh, that's a good point, isn't it? Uh... I'd say something like, um, hi, hi everyone, 18 years sober. Like, fuck, what? Or, um, ugh, I hate dogs. Uh, or, oh, I just did a normal tweet, have a great day everyone, and God bless. And they go, what? And they'd, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't know, would you? You wouldn't do anything. If I, if I, if I arranged a code now, right, if I'm ever kidnapped, they'd have to be fucking big. There'd be a lot of them to lift me because I wouldn't walk. They'd go, what? I'd go, no. And then i just go, i just lay down on the floor. Like i just flop on the floor face down like a toddler. And they go, oh, for fuck's sake. We can't. They'd be pushing and pulling, right, being little, leaving little trails of cheese. <laughs> and I'd be tempted. <laughs> right. Right. Then they try and drag me, but I'd take my shirt off, right? and my belly would create a suction on the wooden floor. It's going, they, fuck, they'd be putting down olive oil and trying to push me up to it. <laughs> yeah, I'd just sign up. If ever, if ever I sign off, right, with God bless, I've been kidnapped. All right? Call the police. Um, the other people go, what do you mean? A lot of people say, God bless. I go, no, but he's been kidnapped. So what? What would they do? Oh, well, they could trace my phone, couldn't they? If, if you knew I was kidnapped, or if I watched too many police dramas, you think you could, couldn't you? You get out of Vodafone or O2, whatever. Huh? And I go, we think he's been kidnapped because he's saying stupid things. And they go, and <laughs> um, oh god there's another one uh, Stonewall Rockhaven if that is his real name uh, you are standing before St Peter at the pearly gates and he says you have one more life on earth but as a dog fine what breed would you choose to be Uh, well, first thing I thought of was like a bulldog because I'd be used to the sort of breathing and the length of legs. I'd be used to what it was like sort of walking uphill. Um, what would I be? I don't know. What's the... A happy... I mean, I just don't think you can go wrong with like being a, a golden retriever. Nice dog nice owner, you know what I mean, it should be a nice, it feels like that would be a good life, if I was a, everyone goes, ah, oh, everyone, they're nice, people are nice around them, no one's scared of a golden retriever, if a golden retriever comes running towards you, you don't go, oh fuck, you know what I mean, you know it's, you know it's going to come up and sort of like, sit on your foot or lick your leg or something, so, yeah, can't go wrong with a rabbit or golden retriever. Um, Louisa Cor says my down to earth question is are you painting more in lockdown I'm not if so what do you paint and can we see any artworks no it's so funny that before lockdown I was thinking I'll get some I'll get some canvases and I just didn't bother and then it happened but um, I haven't been painting no uh, I don't know why I've been um I've been filling my days. I haven't been. Uh, I've, I've been doing more working out and sport. 
I've been writing as much. I've been doing more Zooms. Um, but no, I haven't been painting. What, I, what do I paint? I, I, I almost exclusively paint sort of abstract stuff now. I mean, that hides the fact that I haven't got enough skill. And it's, uh, I like it more as well. I just like, I do like, if, in fact, if there's a great painting, but it's got a, like a person in it or a face, I go, oh, get that out. I don't want that on the wall. I don't even know who the fuck's that. You know what I mean? I want <laughs> swirling sort of, I mean, Turner, it was figurative, but he managed to, his colours were great. Turner colours, abstract. I like I like some portrait stuff. Rembrandt, I like. Rembrandt clicked. He, he, all his backgrounds were black, and it was in the. It was great. It was again. It was drama. It wasn't the sort of people going out like painting themselves like that. So, like so yeah. Um, but yeah, I can only do real abstracts. Scapes, I like. I like scapes, skies and buildings and things like that. Uh, cheers from Montreal. Um, uh, well, that's about it. I'm like, oh no, Joey. I got Joey to do, haven't I? Um, <laughs> Joey again <laughs> starts off the question. You know, the, the question starts off with a premise, a fact, right? When you die, someone's going to resurrect you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in your new life. <laughs> They're not, Joey. They're not. They're not. Because that's mental. Um, when you die, someone's going to resurrect you. I'd be fucking furious. I'd be absolutely furious. But, uh, all right, what are we doing? You're alive. You fucking idiot. <laughs> right. When you die, someone's going to resurrect you. Um... In your new life, you must live the life of a character from any of your shows. Whose do you choose? Oh, is it like a new life? Oh, okay. So it's not me coming back still shitting myself and in pain the way I died at 83 in a bath chair, right? It's, I'm someone else. I live a life where I go, uh, who has the most fun? Derek always springs to mind. I think, I think Derek, yeah. Is it, is it one of my characters that I've played or anyone's? Um, I think, I still think it's Derek. I think I'd, I'd be Derek. Can't go wrong. Um, Claire says, if Room Runner 101 was real and you could actually get rid of three things from life that irritate you, what would those three, um, seriously, Three is not enough. If I started listing things that... I'm assuming these aren't the big serious things, right? You wouldn't say fascism, famine and cancer. They irritate me, right? I assume you mean not big, like, like foibles and habits and like people sniffing, people sniffing. Yeah, I assume you mean those little trivial things that drive me... Fucking mental. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can't have general general stupidity. Just, uh, what would I ban? Um, so if it's not the big things, uh, oh, people who do that thing on the street as well. Fucking dustman's blow. Still, I mean, who does that? I want to, I go, I always, if I see someone like just jogging, right? and they do a dust and blow. I always go, fuck me. Like, hope they hear it. So I've seen someone see it, like, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, noisy eaters. Um, uh, what, what else would it be? Food is being late. So much of fucking fuzzy thinking and just general general etiquette and people not knowing they're annoying. It's so funny. Uh, 
I was thinking that, that if a dog comes over and jumps up at me, right? I was like, a little dog and tore my t-shirt and I just, oh, the, if a person does that, I go, you stupid fucking idiot. You owe me a t-shirt, you clumsy twat. Fucking cut your toenails, you moron. But a dog does that, I go, oh, look at Imagine, imagine, I look, I look, imagine a person running along just jumping on my lap. I punch him in the face. But if a cat does it or a dog, I go, oh, he's on my lap. Same with eating. If a dog's going, <laughs> I'm going, oh, look, he's enjoying that. If I see a bloke doing that, again, I want to just drag him out of the restaurant by his neck. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a list of things that annoy me. Um, I told you about the time we were in this lovely restaurant. It was just us, right? We, an early lunch in San Francisco. And it was on the bay and we were looking out. There was a fucking seal and a pelican and the waiter was great. And then the bus boy kept coming out of the kitchen, standing, looking around like that, right? And he kept going, <clears throat> and honestly, I, I, Every time he did it, I was just waiting for it to happen. And Jamie was going, just forget it, just forget it. I was going, oh my God. And then I just hear it in the distance. <clears throat> I go, God! Like that, just to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it is the mental case. Um, good. Well, that was the, the Wednesday bollocks with all the usuals. Um, got in the same, really. Uh, I was just uh, People keep saying, play the guitar. I'll say hello to some of you. And I'm going to be like, hi, Richard. Evening from the Cowsey. The Cowsey is the place, that, it's Cows Hill, where I used to live in Whitley. That's funny. Um, uh, was Derek based off something? No, it wasn't based on anyone I knew, really. Um, I hope you had a mask on. Oh, this was years ago. Misophobia. That's the end. Misophobia, is it? When you're noisy eaters and breathing and shit. Uh, well, thanks, everyone. Um, oh, yeah, people just saying, play a bit of Brent's song. I don't know why. You can just download them. What do you want me doing it for? It's not as good as a recording, is it? Or is it just me? Is it like it's live? Is that fun? Uh, Sold my shack in Memphis. Bought me a Chevrolet. Get the album. This is free. Um, please play us a song. I just did. Oh, am I behind? Uh, okay, well, thank you very much. Let's do this again. When are we doing it again? Sunday, aren't we? We can Sunday sermon. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, retweet this. That's what you do. Retweet this. Buy a bread song. Retweet this. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. I don't even care if you do that, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? But um, have a nice week and uh, be nice to animals. Tatty bye, everyone. Tatty bye.